Adam here with Wholesale Septic Supply. Today we're gonna go over why high head effluent pumps stop or your sprinkler pump will stop, uh, what to do about it, and the telltale signs and what we look for in uh, a return that comes back to us. Okay, so today we're gonna show you a, this is a clean, what they call diffusers. These are in the top end of the pump, okay? And they sit in here, and then the motor spins around and the water goes through each individual stage here, okay? Now, these are all designed to let in a certain amount of water through little holes here, okay? And then they go on each individual stage and they go through and this spins and creates more and more pressure. So that's what gives you the pressure in order to move through there. So this is a clean one. This is one we took out and inspected, uh, made sure everything was two spec that we, we wanted and we wanted to do. <clears throat> this one is a return. So this return here came back and what we'll do, as you can see, is we will cut the pumps open and we will inspect them because it's kind of hard to tell because of the way the pumps are set up what really went wrong with it. So generally what happens is we'll get the pump back, we'll take it out, we'll put it in a tank, we'll hook it up, we'll see if it'll squirt water out. If it doesn't, but it's running, then we wanna know why. Uh, on this one, we cut it open and you can see that there is a bunch of stuff impacted in here. All right, and that's probably throughout the whole pump. And uh, this would not be a manufacturer defect. This would be somebody did not pump their septic tank before they, they put a new pump in there and uh, the pump failed. And then they think, well, I need a new pump and it's your fault. You can see there's stuff all through these diffusers here and the water will not flow through there. So what happens is uh, because the pump is, is not getting water out, the tank level is not dropping down. So then the pump runs nonstop and because of that, uh, the, the motor eventually fails. This one's a good example we can tell right off the bat. We get this back, this is for warranty. Uh, we can just take the bolts off of it that are there. You can see all kinds of junk, grease, all that stuck on there. This is filthy. Um, we don't really need to dive any deeper into this pump to know why it failed. So it was put into an extremely dirty environment and uh, it doesn't work for that reason. So, I mean, I'm, we could cut this open and it would probably look pretty similar to that one where there's a bunch of junk in there. Uh, the, the top of the head, there's all kinds of junk in there. So that's why that would fail. It's not, it, it's impossible to hide it too. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll clean their pump off, they'll do that, but you can't get into the internal components. So that's how we really check. Cause we really wanna know why did this, why did this pump fail? If there's a problem with manufacturing, they need to know that so that they can fix the problem and we don't have this ongoing issue. So if, um, uh, if we don't do that, then we won't know. Most of the time, all of our pumps are premium brand pumps. So they're all called what's called wet tested. So they at the factory test the pumps to make sure that they come on, they pump the correct amount of water at the correct pressure and everything else. So it's very rare. It's usually somebody hooked them up wrong or something like that and that's why uh, they won't work. But they all you know, have been tested beforehand before they go out. So those are just some uh, things to let you know that we check for when a pump comes back to make sure that it's either a manufacturer defect or uh, it's user error uh, and it was you know, it put in incorrectly. It's very important that you guys uh, know when you get a new pump, there's a very good chance when you guys get a new pump that you will need to pump your septic tank. It's also just advisable. So your pump's been in there nine years, haven't pumped your tank, your pump just failed. You need to pump your tank, okay? General rule is five people, four years. Four people, you can usually go five years, depends on your, your habits. But that's the general consensus and what we see. So as if you do that, then your pumps, it's not uncommon for these to go 10, 15 years but you have to maintain the system in order for that to happen. The pump is trying to pump water and suck it in through this screen. Generally, what we see is this screen is completely clogged and we have a video um, that we did where we pulled the pump out and we kind of showed how it got really dirty and filthy. 
uh, and show that. If this screen is just completely caked with stuff, you definitely need a clean out. I mean, that's another thing you can tell. That's a good way to tell if you need a clean out. If it's that dirty in the pump tank, then how much dirtier is it in the trash tank and in the aerobic system? So uh, those are good things to, to know. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please ask them. Remember to like and subscribe uh, so we can keep creating good content for you guys. Uh, anything else, just ask or call us and we'll be happy to answer for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.